for Absu. One of the criticisms of um, uh, your leadership is that you take a, a long time to act on something that is urgent. We have a situation of textbooks in Limpopo. There's this task team, that task team, and this task team. When are you going to fire the education minister? <laughs> well, <clears throat> I'm not sure about that uh, criticism, and I'm sure if each day there was a report and I fired people, I would be high, hardly criticized that I don't follow through processes of the law. You know, democracy is something that we all need to understand. Where there is a rule of law, you can't just, without verifying the facts, act against individual. It is within the law. Now, if I was doing so, and I'm sure I would be given other labels and names, I think wherever there has been and, uh, anything that happens, we have taken action. We want to take action when we, we are not going to regret, when we know the facts. And facts must be investigated. And investigation does not take at times, just overnight. So that's what happens. We need to act fairly. It doesn't mean, for an example, that when there's an allegation, uh, then that is indeed the correct kind of facts that are put But the textbooks in Limpopo are not an allegation, Mr. President. We're but you don't, the know, of that. you don't know who is exactly responsible for it. How long can it, it take to find out? <clears throat> no, you don't know who is uh, responsible for that. You can't say the minister who's sitting in Pretoria in the office is responsible for that. The buck stops with her, just like it even stops if, with you even, in government. Even if the buck stops with her, she has to find out who the individual is responsible for it for her to take an action. If she just Who felt, takes action against her because she's the principal? Of course, once that has happened, she finds out what's happened. Those facts come to the president. The president must weigh those facts. Was it her or not her? So it doesn't, it doesn't come as people love it. Kick the minister out, etc. It doesn't move that way. Otherwise, we wouldn't be running a government. But Mr. President, here's the issue for me as a South African citizen. Mm. When you interfere with children's education, you are bequeathing to the nation a generation of South Africans who are dysfunctional, who cannot open the doors to their future. Why does it seem that under your leadership, the ANC and indeed government pontificates and has put politics ahead of the rights of children to learn? Can your government take responsibility for that sad state of affairs? Well, I'm not sure it has put politics ahead of education. I'm not sure about that. Uh, where that claim comes from, because we've put education above anything. It comes from the of fact that the seven five, months into the year, the, the children five, don't have books. Of the five priorities that we have, education is the apex of. We have even attacked the education department because we found that there were weaknesses and began to split them in order to bring more focus. That's why we've got basic education department and higher education. Now, the Limpopo provincial government, you should also be aware that once we discovered that there were problems, we applied Section 100. Now, people talk as if this problem came just now, when you know for a fact that we said the government was not running properly and there are five departments. One of them was education department. That's why National took an action, not just paper to apply Section 100B, and it is in the process of that. The fact that it's six months down the line. Seven, Mr. President. <clears throat> seven, the okay, correct, find the correction, seven months. When did we apply Section 100? It was this year. Mm. That tells you there was something not going well that included textbooks. But in the Eastern Cape as well, Mr. President, in KZN as well, as well we read stories of uh, teachers having to make photocopies and so on. And for some of us, as a man who was denied an education because of the country that South Africa was at that time, this is something that we want to see you feeling very strongly about. I feel very strongly about. That's why what I've just explained, we have said let us do something about the Department of Education to, be, to bring focus. One of the points, of course, this happens only with black children because that's where the problem of exactly. education historically was made. The majority of this country were not considered, were not given education. So there's a huge challenge. It's a black child who's <clears throat> being disadvantaged exactly. again. Ferburti is smiling in his but grave because of your government. No, no, no. What has happened today is because of what Ferburti did. But which He's, part of the, of the problem the belongs Ferbut to you? in particular singled out education as an instrument 
to put back centuries of black children You are just continuing behind. his work then by not giving it children textbooks. It can't be true. We have prioritized education in every respect. You are dealing here, even with the teacher. We are dealing with the teacher that comes from the Fervudian system, which even his or her attitude towards education still need to be worked on. So we are not dealing with the problem of today. We are solving the problem of centuries that, 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 that has affected us. Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune, and independent.